So let's go right now inside the on create method and let's see how we can declare this kind of arrays. So we're gonna go and use the keyword char and then we have this uh, pair of brackets and afterwards we have to give a name for our character array and this is basically just like a string. Um, a string just uh, has more uh, letters or characters and a character array is uh, more or less the same thing it's just a sequence of characters and we're gonna say for example word that would be a good example and uh, it just depends on uh, your application depends on when you want to use it and so I'm just gonna initialize it right now and add values all at once so I'm just going to do this by typing character array and then um, we're going to say for example my application name and so I'm just going to use this uh, square brackets and I'm going to say first I'm going to use this uh, I'm going to use a pair of single quotes to enclose this uh, D character and as you can see uh, you can just do it uh, as you see right here then you have to use a comma and specify a couple of others and so we're gonna just do this right now and we're gonna say um, for example we can just say Android just keep in mind that you cannot have two or more characters you just have to put one character and we're gonna say Android so I'm just gonna use all these uh, spaces to specify all these uh, things and so we have as you can see right here Android and this is the word and uh, basically right now when we have this application name let's say our application is called Android and afterwards you can just um, initialize and add values just one by one And so in order to do this you have to first of all specify um, char and then square brackets and then you have to just give the name let's say uh, my string just as a string or just let's say character array just to be more explicit with this uh, and we say new character array and so then you can specify 100 or just 1000 doesn't really matter and um, we're gonna have it uh, with the default value so it's just gonna be the new character or uh, just like uh, pretty much nothing and so um, we're gonna see right now how we can uh, do this we're gonna just uh, add a couple of letters in my character array and so I'm just gonna say array of zero just uh, array of zero equals and then you can add the character you can add zero you can also add numbers just so you know and then we can go with the cursor at the end of the line and then just uh, press command d on a mac or control d on a pc just make a couple of more values and you can also add for example uh, the plus sign or just uh, x w doesn't really matter any kind of things and so that's how it works